The Wyoming Game and Fish Department is taking an important step to learn more about bacterial pathogens that have severely impacted the population of the Whiskey Mountain Bighorn sheep herd since the early 1990s. The herd, located in the Wind River Range near Dubois, suffered a massive die-off in the winter of 1990-91, killing nearly half of its 1,200 animals, and has dealt with numerous bouts of the disease since. Game and Fish wildlife biologist Greg Anderson in Lander says new laboratory technology may offer some answers, but what's needed first are some samples. In this particular population, after that all-age die-off, we've suffered through 20-plus years of poor lamb recruitment and declining population, and it's tied into some chronic pneumonia in the population associated with various bacterial pathogens. We've had advancements in lab technology and techniques that we can use and just now feel that um, we can accurately identify bacterial species and varieties of those species that we have present in this population. The focus now was to collect samples. To do that, you need a net big enough to catch a lot of sheep and you need to get up early to set it up. The tasty goodness of apple pulp and high-grade alfalfa mix is simply too much to resist if you're a bighorn sheep, even when placed under a suspicious-looking drop net. With close to 80 people waiting by for enough sheep to be tempted, down comes the net. When we get 30, 35 sheep under one of these drop nets that we capture them with, it's all hands on deck and we need every, every person that we can get to secure those sheep effectively without injuring them and get them processed fast out from under the net and released without getting injured. In recent years, at least four other western states have documented bacterial pneumonia outbreaks in at least 10 bighorn sheep populations. These are incredibly tough animals, resistant to weather, um, but they tend to have weak lungs as far as exposure to, to strange pathogens. There's some new research coming to light now, and a, a number of researchers making a really good case that they might have some fairly good solutions for addressing mnemonic die-offs in bighorn sheep populations within the next decade. If that comes to fruition, it's going to be incumbent on state agencies like us to know what we have for pathogens in the population so that the, these researchers can address those specifically and perhaps give us, give us an avenue for clearing these bugs out of our populations. Volunteers from the Bureau of Land Management and U.S. Forest Service, which are partners in managing the herd, and volunteers from Dubois helped with the trapping. Funding for sheep bait and to analyze samples came from the Wyoming Wild Sheep Foundation, National Bighorn Sheep Interpretive Center, and the Wyoming Governor's Big Game License Coalition. With videography by Lindsay Simpson, this is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.